So I'm Joe Messina, or Joey Messina. I'm a senior right now, going to be graduating at the end of the semester. I'm a CNIT major, and uh, I play on the Rocket League team. So I'm majoring in computer networking and information technology. I'm going to be graduating this semester, which is pretty cool. We just finished our capstone project. Uh, we still got to present it, and uh, hopefully I pass and can graduate. <laughs> Two of my friends, Alex and Logan, we always played Rocket League together and we, we wanted to form like a team that was, you know, like official at our school. And the esports program was a really good opportunity for us to kind of make that happen. What is your most memorable moment of being on the team? Hmm, I would say definitely going to LAN for our WCRL tournament. It didn't pan out the way we wanted to, but it, it was still a really fun time just to be with everybody. We, we had a lot of fun on the road, so definitely that. What is your best clip that has been hit live? Uh, definitely the one where we were playing Nace. Alex passed me the ball on the right, and I just hit this crazy shot off the back wall, a double touch. And it, it didn't really mean much at the time, but it was just a sick goal. I would say mentally, I'm the strongest when it comes to just like keeping everybody composed and making sure that we're doing the things we need to do. Um, so, as we know, we have, you win 9 and 0 in WCRL or whatever the perfect score is in that. Is there any teams to look out for that would rival you guys? Um, who would rival us? If you want the honest answer, I think no, not really. I don't think there's really any teams that can beat us. And just because I think we're just a lot better than everybody else. Um, some teams that may be kind of tricky at times, I'd say Eau Claire's been putting in a decent amount of hours. I think they'll be, I think they'll be ready to play, you know, make us have to work for it a little bit. I think Milwaukee Gold, I think they'll give us a little bit of, uh, not trouble, but just be a little annoying too. But I, I don't really think anybody is going to give us too much trouble. I, I, think, I think we can catch the dub. I, I would say the way I practice Rocket League is kind of similar and kind of different in some ways. When, when it comes to just getting consistent at the game, it, Rocket League is one of those games where you have to constantly be playing in order to feel good on the game and be doing what you need to do. When I'm not putting in a lot of hours at the time, something I'll do to practice is just kind of sit in free play. It's kind of a common thing that most players do. And I'll sit in there for a few hours just to like just start feeling comfortable on it again. But um, it's, it's usually the extent that it goes to for me. A lot of my gameplay is based around um, positioning and just playing very smart. And all of those things are, they, they never leave. So, like, it's just really easy to hop back into a game if I have, like, my mechanics and, like, I just feel comfortable on the ball because all the rest of the game is just mental at that point, and I have that down pretty much, so... And then we've kind of tied into it already, but like, how good is UW Stout at esports compared to other schools, Rocket League wise? I would say that over the years, particularly 2020 and 2021, we were putting up results worthy of beating, you know, some of the top teams in the nation. You know, we were only we were only one, you know, series, you know, two series off of making CRL, which is kind of a prestigious uh, tournament to be in, league slash tournament. And, you know, we were putting up good results against some of the best teams. So in that time period, I would say we were, you know, among the best, you know, top, at least top 24 at one point. Uh, right now, I would say that we could still beat a lot of the good teams. But it's gotten a lot harder because a lot of younger talent has moved into the collegiate scene now. And some of those players are professional players that are playing collegiate as well. 
And so it's made it a bit tougher to kind of, you know, push past that barrier of, you know, getting into that prestigious spot. Um, at Stout, I really hope that the esports program continues to flourish. It's very student driven at the moment, so I'm not I'm not too confident on who's going to come in to, you know, step up and, you know, do what needs to be done for it. If I had the ability to, you know, make a difference in that, I would. Um, the goal was always, as as a team, and at least for me, was try to, you know, bring a lot of notoriety and experience to the esports team with the time I have here, to you know, maybe attract some other talent and give people some hope about it around here. So I'm really hoping that they continue to, you know, put, you know more money to it and invest in what they have because you know a lot of a lot of stout are gamers when it comes to it <laughs> it's the majority of stout so so i'm joey messina and i am a gamer <laughs> <laughs> bye losers